Yeah, we knew they had to sit around two weeks on that loss, and I know what type of coach Dana is, what type of motivator he is, so we were going to get their best punch, and they came out and they fought hard. You know, we got up early and they kept fighting, and uh, he's got a good ball club, and, and I was impressed by their effort. What did you think of Jace? He said, put it on my shoulders that second half. When they went up by 11, he said, put it on my shoulders. I said, all right, the ball's coming your way, and he kept making plays. He's, you know, his, his size and speed and then his determination, uh, that's a deadly combination, so. <laughs> I think by the book there at the end it says to run the ball. Uh, you put the, the game in the hands of your fr true freshman quarterback. Uh, talk about your confidence in him to make a play. Yeah, we talk about it all the time. Fortune favors the bold. So we're going to go try to win the game. We're not going to leave it up on anybody else as an offense. We knew we had good looks. We knew we were getting one-on-ones with Jace. And so just up to him to make good throws. And most of the, most of the day he did. Just talk about your quarterback a little bit more. I think two straight games, 400-plus yards, first freshman to do that. Yeah, his, he's always had the ability. Um, and the thing I'm most impressed is when he didn't get the nod the first game, it kicked him in overdrive as far as determination, his work ethic, and he just kept getting better, getting better, getting better, and putting him in a position to be this type of player. And so really proud of that more than anything. But handled himself very well. Had some throws he'd like to have back, but our receivers did a good job picking him up and uh, the line protected well all day. How much progress has he made just getting in from, say, a month ago, just getting into a rhythm and not throwing so many passes with bad judgment. Right, that's that's big. Just the more reps he gets, it seems the better he gets and the more confidence he gets. He's got a ton of reps with the injury situation and uh, just gets better and better. I'm just really proud, like I said, of overcoming the beginning of the year and not getting down. And I mean, that's what you're supposed to do as an athlete. He also overcame the, the fumble, which was a big play. What did you say to him and what did you like about how he bounced back from that? Yeah, I was mad. That one I was mad because we talk about sliding all the time. And yeah. he's, he's not the most nimble guy to try and jump in the end zone. I guess he was trying to do that. but. Uh, you know, it didn't even phase him. He said, I got you, coach. I'll make up for it. And that's the type of kid he is. And so really proud of that he bounced back from that um, and, and kept playing. How much fun, because of Dana and everything, how much fun was this one for you? It was fun. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be in this if it weren't for him. And so it, it was, there was some personal stuff there, all positive. But anytime you beat somebody that's kind of your mentor, um, it, it's fun. It's fun to play against him. I couldn't be more impressed with what his team did offensively. They hadn't played that well all year and came and moved the ball up and down. And then Charles, to see him have that success, uh, Sims, you know, one of my favorite players to ever coach. That, that was fun to see. I'm just glad they didn't beat us. First trip into Morgantown, what was your take uh, on the atmosphere uh, overall here? It, it was great. You know, the music starts playing when they get hot and they're jumping around, and, and our players really enjoyed it. Um, hostile, it, it's, it's a very cool stadium, and uh, everything I heard it would be. Your Thanks offense that. clinched the game. But your defense really won it for you there. They were on their heels in the third, second and third quarter. How did they bounce back and play so well? Coach Waller said made some great adjustments. Um, they're late to get, get the stops when we had to have them. You know, they're up 11, and, and we get a stop and gives us a chance to win the game. So um, they've been stepping up big in, in crucial moments all year. How big is this for the team to overcome so much late, late second half adversity? Yeah, you want to get all that out of the way. And I told our team, I said, we haven't come close to playing our best game. So hopefully we can put one of those together before the end that year is out and see what we can do. Cliff, were you pulling your hair out at halftime to control the first half to the degree that you did and only have a tie? Yeah, I was internally, but you can't show that, you know. Um, I thought we had a chance to go up 20 to 3 there, and then all of a sudden it just flipped, and they did a good job going 99, which is what yeah. you want as an offense to respond. And so we just said it was 0 0. It was the same situation last week 0 0, go win this half, and our guys responded. Is it good for your defense to, I mean, you knew at some point that they were going to give up some yards and points and to kind of be challenged and. Have to yeah, no doubt, no doubt. They need to see some adversity. This is the first time that the team has, has moved the ball that well against them. Um, but when we had to have stops, they got them. So that, that's a big step. What would you say to people who say inevitably, inevitably people will say, you know, you're seven and zero, but you haven't really faced hardly any really tough. Teams that's yet. that's great. I hope they keep saying it. You know, I saw game day, Herb Street picked against us, and a couple others. So that's good. I hope they keep giving us that locker room material. Do. Uh, do you use that, or how aware of it are the players? They're very, I mean, they, like I said all along, they're aware of where they were picked at the beginning of the year. And that doesn't ever shy far from their minds. And we, uh, we're we still, we're still, you know, trying to prove people that, that we're not that bad. Let's put it that way. What does it say about your team that you keep making these plays in the fourth quarter? It's, it's encouraging. It's encouraging to have a young quarterback like that um, and still have guys lift up around him, step up around him, and make those plays. I mean, that, that bodes well for the future. Glad you had a rough play Sims again. Yeah, he's, he's an unbelievable player. And uh, I was hoping I was going to get him at Texas Tech, but that didn't work out. So I'm glad he ended up here. I'm glad he's having so much success, and he's going to be a great player at the next level. 
a few days ago, Jace tweeted that he will be back next year. Has the subject of his future and when he leaves here ever come up between you and him? Yeah, I, I give him a hard time about it. You know, it, if the money's right where it's supposed to be, you know, you're going to kick him out the door because that's part of the game, and he needs to go make make what he can make. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see at the end of the year the evaluation process and um, go from there. But we got to do what's best for Jace. Has Davis separated himself from? We'll have to look at the film. Um, you know, we got three guys we think can win games, but he, he played really well today. I, I was really proud of how he handled himself in the fourth quarter, and the same last week. And we had to have big drives. He's made them. Winning at, a, at Oklahoma, you guys have had a chance. This program has had a chance to you know, win the Big 12 by going to Oklahoma and winning. You guys have that opportunity to really take a step forward. Are you guys excited about that? I hope so. I was part of one that didn't work out so well. I think we lost. 112 to 7. Um, <laughs> and then I know in 2008, same situation. But that's not how we're approaching this. It's still so early in the, in the season. A lot of things are going to shake out. And it's just the next next game. So it's our biggest game. And, and we're going to approach it that way and enjoy this one tonight and get back tomorrow and start working hard towards it. Cliff, the uh, play in the third quarter where Austin intercepts the pass, you recall for interference. What was your view of that play? I couldn't see it. I was on the whole other side. But I've never seen that many uh, pass interference holding calls. So it was. Uh, it was tough, tough on, on our defense. That gave them a bunch of first downs, but they overcame that adversity, and so that was good to see. We got to clean that stuff up. Reggie Davis, uh, will you keep him on the kick return? We'll see. You know, uh, Jakeem will be back next week, so we'll, we'll see um, how it goes. But that was a great return and a huge momentum change for us. Against West Virginia in two games, you kind of wish you were playing them every week? <laughs> I mean, um, no, I mean, this is another team, and we came out ready to play, and Coach Kingsbury had a great plan for me. and. And last year was something similar to that, and, and they kind of just put me in space last season and, and this season the same way. And, and it, it wasn't just like it's West Virginia, but you know uh, I've had games like that this season, so we'll see. I mean, it's just another team. Same talking <coughs> though, how much did this one mean to you? Uh, you know, it's kind of like a homecoming on their homecoming. So, Jace, what about the confidence that uh, Cliff showed you guys <laughs> not running the ball there at the end, trying to run out the clock? going for the win, uh, what can you take from that? Yeah, that just shows how much trust he has in our receivers and our quarterbacks and the offensive line. And he knows that we have great playmakers out there. And, and you know, he, he you know he saw the middle of the field was wide open. The, line, the middle linebacker tried manning me up down the middle, and, and he, he took advantage of it. What was Davis like in the, well, not the huddle, but the line of scrimmage there? <laughs> you know, he's, very, he's always very composed. You know, he, he's always been the guy that has been able to, you know, drive down the field when we really need it, and, and, and that really helps us. You know, has a lot, we have a lot of confidence in him, and, and he, he checks plays really well. You know, he throws the ball really well, and, and we'll, see, we'll see how it goes from there. Chase, you guys went down 11, and you went over and gave the defense a little encouragement, I'll say. So what, what would you say to the defense, and how did that pump you up for the <coughs> what was left to come? Uh, I just said, you know, one stop, and we're going to win the game. And, and you know, that, that happened, and, you know, it, it, it really helped us with the momentum. And, and, you know, we got that stop, and, and we ended up winning the game. Did you feel like you needed to put this one on your shoulders? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I just, you know, I told some of these guys in the locker room that, you know, I was, I was going to make sure we came out with a W, and then I was going to do everything I could. And, uh, you know, and I, I honestly could say that I, I, I play as hard as I can out there, and, and I left everything out there, and, and I was going to make sure that we were going to win this game. What was going through your mind when you cut that touchdown? Kind of put it on ice. <laughs> you know, it's just a great feeling. You know, uh, when, when you know the game's closed out, and, and um, you know, I just, like I said, I was going to make sure we we're going to win this game. Do you think this win will give you guys more respect? And outside Lubbock? Well, we hope so. So, I mean, we're just going to keep on, you know, people are going to doubt us regardless of how many wins we have. You know, I know a lot of people have said we haven't played anybody yet, and, and we're just going to keep on winning. Chase, the uh, pass that you caught, 32 yarder, and you are going this direction before Kenny's first touchdown. Can you talk a little bit about that play? Um, just a vertical that was going to fade over the oh. look like linebacker. Yeah, um, you know they, they went to cover zero, and we had uh, four four verticals on, and and I was actually I actually ran the wrong route. I mean I was supposed to be hot on that play, and and I ended up just saying you know I'm just going to beat him off the line, and, and I just took off, and Davis gave me a chance and converted the third down. So you were supposed to be short. On yeah, that I was supposed to be short on that, but you know. Ended in or out or uh, stop? I don't want. So <laughs> we'll see. What did you think of Davis? Oh yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, he's he you know, he was playing hurt out there. He got hit pretty hard on that one uh, play when he fumbled and. You know, he, he kept on playing. That's one thing that, you know, it shows us a lot. We, we respect him a lot. And it shows how much he wants to win out here. So in that third down play there in the last drive, that was sort of like a freelance route? Not that one. Um, I, I might be getting the ones confused. Okay. But uh, no, it was just on that one when, when he threw it really high. And I, oh, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah OK. So. What about the one coming this way where he drove the guy for about 15 yards? 
What's where are we going? <laughs> this way, I think, right? <laughs> the, one, uh, the one coming south where you dragged the game at the last 15 uh, yards. Um, you know, that was, a, that was a similar play to the one I scored on that last touchdown, and I kind of just got in the zone, and, and he gave me a chance, and, you know, they were trying to strip me of the ball, and, and there was a guy on my back the whole time, and I just kept on moving. Did you ever see much double or bracket coverage? Oh, yeah, in the first quarter, you know, they were, yeah, I was surprised I caught that many balls today. You also took that one shot. It looked like they hit you pretty well one time. Did you have your flashbacks? Yeah. No, you know, I got a little extra padding this time around. You tweeted the other day that you would be back here next year. How much is that? How much do your teammates ask you about that or could you <laughs> You know, they just joke around, you know, just giving me a hard time. And, and you know, I plan on staying here all four years. And, and you know, I, whatever happens at the end of the season is going to happen. But, uh, that's just, you know, my mindset right now is playing college football. It has nothing to do with the NFL. And, and, and these guys in the locker room, they just, you know, just like to joke around. And, and I just kind of like go with it. So, but, but my plan is to be here as long as I can be. Case you'll be 7 0 going to Oklahoma just like you wanted to be. So, I mean, how, much, how excited are you for next week now? Uh, you know, we knew we were going to be 7 0. You know, we, we, that was the plan. And, and we're going to go into to Norman uh, knowing that we can win that game. And, and I know that West Virginia had given a lot, a lot of trouble with some teams. And, and, and LU, you know, they're a great team, and we're going to see um, on film tomorrow how they play, and, and we'll see where it goes. Kenny, what does it say about the, the poise of this team on that last drive? You guys ran the ball, and then Kingsbury uh, called some passes mm -hmm. when you know, maybe the book would have said to run the ball, and you guys still made plays and put it away. Uh, I think that just shows the fight that we have in this team. And, uh, I mean, when adversity hits, somebody has to step up. I mean, and the, the whole team did a good job of, of stepping up, so. It's, I mean, it feels good. It's a good win. Jace is normally pretty intense. How was he maybe a little more intense today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jace is a, a, a real intense player. And uh, one thing I can say about Jace is when he comes out in the field, he gives it his all. Oh, man. Man. Tell us about your uh, 40 yard pass that you called, ran about the last 35 years. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we faked the dive. We, we knew they'd crash in. And uh, basically, I just had to set it up good, make sure. Um, I faked the the block really good, got out, and I mean it happened for us. The uh, all the play action and run fakes that you guys are using the last couple of weeks is yeah. it because of something that Davis does well, or is Cliff really emphasizing? Um, I mean it, both really. Um, <clears throat> I think we're starting to show that we can be um, we can run the ball and pass the ball, and uh, a lot of teams are going to start biting on that. So, what about the poise of your freshman quarterback? Uh, he did a great job and just kept calm. He had a turnover right here in the red zone and um, didn't lose anything about him. He he stepped it up, said, uh, that was my fault. We'll get it back, and we're going to go win this game. As an older guy with a true freshman, with two true freshman quarterbacks, do they have to prove something to you guys at the beginning of the year? Not really, because uh, I, don't, I don't see them as true freshmen. You know, Everyone's a player on this team, no matter freshman or senior. And I mean, you come in to play football. I mean, uh, bottom line. So when your name is called, it's time to step up. Big game at Oklahoma next week, and you guys looking forward to that? Yes, sir. I can right. uh, feel like we owe them. Um, they came to our house last year and took it from us, and uh, we want to do the same. Apparently, what was the mood like at halftime when you guys had control the first half to a large degree, and you only and were tied? Oh, we're just real relaxed, real loose, uh, knowing that uh, we, we uh, made some mistakes ourselves that put us in bad positions. So uh, at halftime, you know, it was just focus. Uh, you know, it was a zero-zero ball game at that point, and uh, coaches did a great job of you know just letting letting us know, you know, just be loose and uh, just go out there and win the next half. What did you think of Jace today? Oh, absolutely great, and uh, you know, he brings that each and every week, uh, practice and games. So uh, it's no surprise to us, and uh, you know, he's a really great player for us. Are you going to leave him another note uh, after? <laughs> yeah, I might leave one one a week now, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we just we love to joke around with them about that because uh, he's a great player and he will be playing at the next level. So uh, you know, just enjoy the time that we have with them now, and uh, you know, just we have the great team, and so we just continue uh, you know to go through the course of the season. Davis has always been advertised as a pretty level keel and all that, but were you surprised that he was able to respond after fumbling the ball? Yard line. Oh, absolutely not. Uh, and uh, you know, we, we were all right. We just rallied behind him. And uh, you know, when mistakes happen, I mean, you can't you can't uh, frown upon them or whatever. And uh, you know, just get down on yourself. You got to play the next play. That play's over with. So uh, we've done a great job at that. And everybody uh, around us has done a great job of you know just keeping everybody even kill. And uh, Davis did a great job with that today.
correctly. The opportunity was there for you guys to let it slip away going down 11, but you guys fought back. How, what does it say about your team to overcome the adversity you guys did today? It was great. And, you know, we have a special ball club in there, and uh, we rallied behind each other. We trust in one another. We believe in one another uh, from coaches to players. So, um, you know, we just rally behind each other, you know, and help each, each whatever it is, special teams, offense, or defense. Uh, you know, we, we can help each other out. And, uh, you know, everybody was real relaxed and just real supportive of each other because that's all we had here. You know, it's a hostile environment, and uh, that sideline is all we had right behind us. So, uh, you know, we just rally behind each other. Talk about your quarterback a little bit. What kind of ball does he throw? And is it easy to catch? Oh, yes. He has great touch on the ball, throws a great deep ball, and, uh, you know, reads coverage very, really well. Really well. And, uh, you know, he's above his years. Uh, you know, he's a true freshman, but he plays uh, very higher than that. And, uh, you know, it's just good to see from him uh, so early and, you know, this being his only second start. So, uh, big things for him in the future. Were you able to see any of Charles Sims' game? Uh, yeah, I mean, he did a great game running the ball. I mean, it's hard to miss him out there. And uh, he was the guy that, you know, I know our defense was trying to focus on to stop uh, because he is a great player for them. And, uh, you know, I feel our defense did a great job, you know, for the most part. How well do you feel like y'all executed after, after it's 27-16 to take three long drives? Uh, how efficient were you offensively in that fourth quarter? Well, we felt really good about it, and uh, you know that's just the character of this team. Uh, you know, just have confidence in one another when adversity strikes. It's what you're going to do with it, and uh, I felt like we answered that call uh, today. And uh, uh, it was good to see out of this team. You know, uh, coming into you know the later games, uh, we we hadn't really faced much adversity up until today. So uh, it was really good to see us fight back and continue to drive. It was real fun, and uh, you know today was a it was a great game, hostile atmosphere. I'm proud of the whole team because you know adversity hit. We, we responded well, and uh, I'm proud of the coaching staff for putting a great plan in. Coach Kingsbury on offense, Coach Wally on defense, uh, all the coaches on special teams. I mean, we didn't play a full game like we wanted to, but all that matters is we came out here with the W. They haven't lost at home all year, and we, were, we gave them the first loss at home. Cliff has said a lot this year that the defense has carried the offense. Did kind of even out a little bit today? Uh, yeah, kind of even out. Um, you know, I thought we were going to go up 20 to 3, and uh, it was a fumble on the one. They uh, did a 19, a 99-yard run on us. And, um, you know, we went at halftime 13-13, but really 0-0. So we rallied. It was never no panic on our side, on offense or defense in the locker room. We knew that we just had to come out, play our game, and execute, and that we'll be great. Did you take a shot to the arm today? Uh, I got hit. Like, not in my shoulder. My shoulders are fine. But I got hit lower, like, towards the rib area. And it was just kind of, it was like a real a stinger. But, I mean, I battled through it. And, um, you know, this could be my last year playing. So, you know, I want to, all right, it's going to take a lot to take me off the field. So, I just want to play and help my teammates win. What does it say about your defense that you're able to kind of get it together there when it really mattered, getting four straight stops, uh, give the offense a chance? It says a lot. And, uh, you know, West Virginia had a lot of opportunities to, you know, score and take the lead uh, late in the fourth. And um, we stepped up as a D, and then the offense scored to put the game away. I'm proud of every single one of our defenders and Coach Wally, Coach Smith, the whole defensive staff, because, like I said, we never panicked. We always like, let's go, let's get it. Uh, we could do this. Never panicked. No one never had their heads down. We knew that we were gonna come out and stop them. Tackling was was kind of the issue for you guys on that. I think that last drive, it was uh, they completed all three passes, but only got five yards because the tackles were so short. Uh, yeah, you know, Coach Wally always preached, uh, run, drive with your feet, and if you miss, take your shot, and the next man come and clean them up. So when you have 11 guys flying to the ball, and if one guy misses, the next guy should be right there, and that was a great job today. What's your impression of Charles Sims? Uh, he's a great player, and. Uh, uh, at one point, he spoke, he, we tried to get him to come here. That's how We know he's a good player. And coming to the game, he was a good player. He made a lot of good runs. And uh, good luck to him in the rest of the season. Was he more elusive than a lot of guys y'all face? I mean, one time ago, you got him wrapped up in a slip shot. Yeah, uh, he's real slippery. And uh, like I said, real elusive, agility. He's good. Just all around good back. And I definitely see him playing on the next level. Did you feel like uh, it's inevitable that some teams would? I mean, you gave up some long drives today. Did you feel like that was inevitable? Uh, not at all, because at some point in the season, adversity is going to hit. And you're determining how you respond to adversity. We're down in the third quarter by, I think, 11, I think, I'm not sure, more than 10. And uh, we stepped up as a team. You know, it's never going to go as planned. And uh, I'm just proud of the team, how we came out when we were down and we stepped up and we came through to get the win. So no matter how we got the win, at the end of the day, it says 7-0 and we're going into Norman.
Um, I think we responded well. You know, um, with the passing game, you know, it could go in either way at any time. Uh, it's just it's just one of those things where, you know, it's a bigger guy. Uh, he was pretty fast. He was he was good. You know, some balls went his way and, and some didn't win. Uh, in the second half, we had to step up and just stop the big plays, and we knew that everything else would take care of itself from there. So, you know, I, I just asked my coach, you know, I wanted to – guard uh, 11 the rest of the game um, in the second half, so I switched over the field side, and I did so. Um, I mean, you know, I think I did a good job. Um, and then we just let defense take care of his business. No ball, no more balls over our head, and you see what happens. Did you switch bound, or bound in the field? Yeah. Right now, yes, sir. Did you sense all the little struggling during the game? Yeah, um, it's just hard. Um, you know, a lot of times we, we are just man to man, you know, on the outside, because they, they trust us, you know. So, you know, you can't always have your best game. And I, I sense that that was happening with O. Um, I was trying to switch more, but, you know, they, they just be wanting me on the boundary for run support and things like that. Um, but, you know, it just came to a point where it, it, was, it was enough. Um, they ended up making the switch. Derek Mays came in. He played ex phenomenal when, when he came in. Ola didn't pout about it. He stayed ready on the sideline, and he, he kept cheering us on. So it, it really showed maturity in our secondary. For one guy to step up, one guy had to step out, and he kept his head up. How do you feel about how y'all responded after? Uh, I mean, you gave up some long drives today and some points, and but then the fourth quarter you're able to kind of tighten up. Yeah, um, you know, it was just one of those things. It's, it's football. It's a game. Um, momentum started going their way, uh, carrying into halftime, and then coming out. Uh, so we just had to just keep fighting. It, it was a dog fight, you know. We know nothing's going to be easy in this Big 12, uh, but that, that just I, – I love what we showed today, uh, that our team could face adversity, especially with our freshman quarterback who played phenomenal. He, he, he was great. And, you know, Jay stepped up big, Jordan Davis for that catch. I, I love that whole offense for what they did today. And, you know, defense, we, we know what we could do. Um, we say every game's on us. Uh, we didn't play our best game today, but, you know, we – we tighten up when we need to. In the fourth quarter, I think we had, what, three three and outs and, and you know, a fourth down stop, and that, that's the type of stuff we need. I mean, we didn't get it done all day, but when it counted, we did it. When you, when you start the season as a senior and you only have one year left, were, were you worried to have true, this team having to depend on true freshman quarterback? Um, no, uh, I always I always liked Davis when uh, things when things started back in spring. Davis and Brewer was looking very good. So I, I really had a lot of trust in them. Um, you know, Baker came out of nowhere and surprised all of us, and he played real well when he was in. But yeah, uh, Davis, he he always had, you know, us behind him. Uh, all three of the quarterbacks really did. We knew the struggle at times, but we, we still feel like they could carry this team. That's no doubt about it. Um, and you've seen that today. I mean, he, he did real good. What, he had one turnover. You know, we'll take that any day. What's your, what's your thoughts on being undefeated going to it's great. Um, like I said, this was a great challenge. Um, we love that we show we could play through adversity. So everybody knows on this team, like for next time, if things hit the hit the fan again, we we know how to respond. So you know, it's gonna be a good uh, challenge next week again, and hopefully we can get the job done like we did today.